He had a lot of customers that loved him, but as we know that he was a father and a husband, so our hearts go out to the uh, immediate family, and we want to bring them closure in this case. And that's what Oak Park Police are working on, presenting their case to the Oakland County Prosecutor's Office. After Daniel Hutchinson, a prominent jeweler, was shot multiple times Wednesday afternoon after he left the pawn shop he owned on Greenfield and Miller. His wife was in the vehicle. Amazingly, she wasn't hurt. This is not just a random event. It was targeted uh, reasons right now uh, as far as motive. We don't know why he was targeted, but we don't think this was a, a isolated event. And to be clear, you're not looking for anybody else. Clear. The person that we have in custody, uh, we believe, is the shooter. Hutchinson also owned Hutch's Jewelry, not far from where he was gunned down. He did business with some of Detroit's most prominent artists, providing custom jewelry, necklaces, pendants, and Cartier glasses. My brother worked for him. You know, bro gave me a call. It was like something happened up there with, uh, his name was Hutch, and I ran up here just to see, but I know he's a good guy. That's all I can really think about it. I don't understand this. Police now working on a motive. Why? Why would someone come up to his vehicle and open fire? Rumors now swirling after the 47-year-old's death. Police say right now, many of those rumors are unsubstantiated. They're not able to share much about the alleged male shooter, but did tell us this. They know it was not random because... The number of shots and there was uh, no words to change. Investigators also say... Nothing in investigation say that these people knew each other, might have had a bad beef towards each other. Hillary Golston, Fox 2 News.